Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. Today is February the 4th, 2019, and uh, my uh, lavender plant here, I was checking on them, and uh, this did make it through the cold. Uh, we had, I'm trying to think, we were minus 15 for temperatures with wind blowing. Now, it did have snow on top of it, and the snow helped to insulate it. So, uh, this is the true lavender here. I'm really pleased to see that it did make it through that cold. And then uh, we also had the wind chill temperature that was, and then uh, we also had the wind chill temperature. It was minus, it was in the minus 20s. So, uh, but the snow helped to insulate it. I wanna show you the other one over here. So this is the other lavender plant here. Now, um, I know part of this one made it. I don't know if the whole thing did. This one was covered with snow too. And uh, we had a warm up start yesterday for us. It started getting in the 50s and today it's in the 50s. So the snow is really melting. And uh, it's nice to see that these lavenders did make it through the, uh, through the winter cold temp. So um, I'm back here with the other one. I don't know if these would have made it if they wouldn't have had all the snow on top of them to help insulate them. Because um, it was, I mean, it was really cold wind blowing. And uh, I'm not sure how many of my rose bushes actually made it through the winter. I'll have to wait and see in springtime. But um, I'm really pleased to see that the lavender did make it. Now, um, these are my seedlings that I started last year indoors, and um, I started them January the 3rd of 2018, and I transplanted them out, and I got them transplanted out early as soon as they were um, used to being outdoors, because you do have to harden your seedlings off, and um, so that is a key, that is one of the keys to getting perennials to overwinter is getting them in the ground early and getting the root systems established on them. Uh, there are some transplant starters out there that I have used already. I'll put a link down in, in the description for one and um, that seems to help the root systems to establish themselves faster and stronger. So um, as these uh, continue to grow I'll come back with more videos and I'll show you what they how they're doing here and uh, they are small still um, they didn't grow too too much I know this one here this variety here is a true lavender um, I'm not sure what the other one is along the house uh, I lost the tag for that one or it blew away or something it's either true lavender or lady lavender but um, they both appeared to have made it through this one does have some damage on it from the winter cold, but I'll watch that and see what it does to uh, see if I need to cut that out then at springtime. Now, um, this right here is one of my other lavender plants. Now, this one here was bought many years ago. Um, I don't have the tag for it, I don't think anymore, and I'm not sure what variety it is, but it does have a lovely lavender smell to it, and uh, you can see more of it down here. And this one here did make it through the winter for me. I was really hoping it would. It was covered with snow, a lot of the snow melted. You can actually see back here how much the wind blew the snow to create like a mound. So, a lot of the snow is melting and it did melt. So, if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, you can leave them below and I'll try and answer them for you. Please don't forget to hit that little notification button that tells you I put a new video on. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day. And um, you can also follow me on Twitter. Um, I do have a Twitter account, and I'll have a link down in the description for that. 
uh, you can get updates on what's coming up, how different plants are doing, um, what videos, uh, gardening tips, and all different kinds of stuff. So thank you for watching. Bye.